Oh my god, guys, the fairy is actually fishing. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's gonna be a mod showcase on the fairies mod. And guys, this mod allows you to tame fairies that are gonna fight for you. You can have like your own army, like they've got different abilities too, it's pretty cool. And not only that guys, they can complete like almost any Minecraft task. They can breed animals for you, they can go fishing, chop down trees, garden. It's really insane, they can do like anything. So what we're gonna do is check them out and first we have to tame them. And you're going to find them in the plains and the forest. So, you know, this biome, it'll do just fine. You might find, like, a bunch of them around. And normally, they spawn in, like, packs of, like, six, seven, or eight, or something like that. So, what you'd probably want to do is grab, like, every single one and start your army. A fairy army. Sounds funny saying it. So, guys, to tame these, they need fairy food. And they love cake, cookies, apples, melons, sugar, and even glistening melon. And guys, keep in mind, like, these ones in the middle, tame them automatically. The sugar, it might take a few. And the glistening melon is specifically for the queen. But the thing is, she's so rare, like, I haven't even seen a queen. Like, the other ones, they spawn normally. The queen, I don't think she spawns too often. So what I'm going to do is grab all this stuff, and we're going to build an army of fairies. Yeah, I know, it sounds strange, but we got to do it. So I'm going to get some mobs and also some slime balls. Because if you give them a slime ball, it actually untames them. And sometimes they say something kind of rude. It's pretty funny. So, guys, this is pretty simple. I'm going to spawn in one of these little fairies. One of these little fairies. She's got 15 health. They're pretty cute looking, too. So, this one, I believe, is the normal kind. There's a few different varieties. So, she's, like, running away from me. Would you like an apple? This is delicious. So, now, Floppy Bee was kind of lonely without a leader. They get, like, random names. Floppy Bee is this one. So, kind of cool, as you guys can see. So, I'm going to try to get, like, every single different kind. So, this one, clearly the same. You guys look, like, identical, pretty much. Actually, what I want to do, this is really cool. You can right-click them like this, and then it gets a little odd. She's, like, on top of my face. It looks weird from here. But one cool thing is she can actually fly you around. So, if you jump, you jump, like, super high. But I imagine, like, I'm kind of heavy, so I can't fly forever. So, I can kind of just jump like a beast and take no fall damage. She looks kind of upset by this, actually, guys. So what I want to do is right-click her, and she should get off you. So stop doing that. It's weird. And let me try to get in a bunch more of these. Okay, so this one is really cool. That is the medic. She's got, like, a potion in her hand. It's, like, the size of her face. So I definitely want to tame you. I've got a cookie. There we go. And what she's going to do is she's going to tame... Not tame. She's going to heal. You're not going to tame them. That'd be cool if you could, like, tame extra fairies. But, yeah, she's going to throw potions, like, on the fairies when they're taking damage and stuff like that. I don't know if I could punch you. No, I can't punch you. I should have done this before I actually, like, tamed her. Hold on. I'm going to untame her. I'm going to give you a slime ball. And it says, Cloudy Bird decided not to be her friend anymore. So I'm going to hit her. And see, she actually, like, threw a potion and healed herself automatically. So she should last for a long time. Was that your only potion? Come on. You've got more potions, right? No? Okay, there we go. So, yeah, once again, she healed herself. So as you can see, they are pretty efficient. So, come back here. You're on my side again. Clyde Bird was easily persuaded by that yummy snack. So, let's see what else we can get. So, I don't want the same ones. Okay, so this one is the guard. She's wearing, like, armor, and she's got a sword that's, like, bigger than her. I'll give you an entire cake. Entire cake. All right, there we go. I swear, it took me, like, 25 to actually get the other kind of fairy. So, she is a rogue. She's, like, flying around. You can see by, like, her outfit, it's a different color than the other fairies. Plus, she's holding, like, paper in her hand. I don't know what that does. So I'm going to try to tame her with sugar. It doesn't work every time, but maybe I'll be lucky. All right, that didn't work. That didn't work. How much is it going to take? All right, so Winky Chime was easily persuaded by that yummy snack. So at this point, guys, we got all of them. We've got a normal fairy. We've got the girl with the sword. We've got the rogue, and we've got a healer. So I'm going to go into survival, and we're going to try to fight some mobs. As you can see, the fairies pretty much follow me around wherever I go. It's pretty cool. I've got my own fairy army. It's like a mini version. But you could have hundreds, thousands of fairies follow you. It could be pretty awesome. Try to take on Mobzilla. Probably all die in one hit. But guys, what I wanted to show is they can actually fight stuff. I mean, they help a lot and they've got some cool abilities. And I tried it with the slimes. Didn't work that good. But I think a spider is going to work better. So once it goes aggressive and attacks me, it's going to die. So I'm going to punch you. Go for it. Kill it. Oh, it stabbed the spider. Oh my god, she picked it up and it died. She picked it up and dropped it from the sky. I have to see that again. Do it again. Do it again. That was amazing. All right, go after me, spider. Somebody grab it. All right, she's stabbing it. And they're healing, too. I mean, they're really working well together. Everything has, like, regeneration on it. That is so sick. 
Come on, please throw it again. Someone has to. I think that's the one that does it. Like, the girl with the paper in her hand actually picks him up and drops him from the sky. Oh my god, look at that. That is, like, the most amazing attack ever. So, yeah, as you can see, I mean, they are killing machines, plus they heal themselves. And you can have as many as you want, like, following you around, helping you. And, guys, I did want to point out about the queen, if she is in the mod, because, honestly, I'm not sure at this point. They just updated it, so she might not actually be implemented in this version. But basically, if you kill her, all her followers, like all the little fairies around her, are going to be mad for a minute. So you can't tame them until they're happy again. So you have to be patient. So not really anything too big, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. And what we can do is we can actually, like, shear them. It doesn't really shear them. <laughs> Take their skin off. That would be horrible. So I can change their hair if I right-click them. So you can see it goes into, like, I think a ponytail or something. Pigtails, is that what that is? So it changes it slightly when I right-click them. So you can see, like, right now, it looks like that. If I right-click her again, it, like, goes back up. So kind of cool. It's all you can do with the hair. That's the only change it makes. So what we can also do is we can get paper and we can name them. So I'm going to name you guys because these names are pretty freaking weird. So what shall I... <laughs> Didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. I have to hold down Shift and then right-click them. Let me get this one. She's standing there perfectly right now. Okay, so I did not want to type in W, but I want to call you, um, Death Drop, because that was freaking awesome before. All right, Death Drop is your name. And now, from now on, it's going to say that above her head. So, yeah, you can tame them, and you can even name them. It's sitting down right now. So, guys, you can make them sit down if you hold down Shift and right-click them, as you can see right here. So, this will keep them in place, but there's, like, a cooler way to actually, like, put them on guard. I switched it to nighttime to show you a couple things. And first off, there is a lot of fairies out at night. Like, seriously, they take up the entire world. It's crazy. This is when you can get your army, guys. This is the time. Come out with a bunch of cookies and come back with, like, 700 fairies. But I did want to say, like, at night, sometimes they get upset. And what you have to do is give them melon because they're going to be, like, freaking out. I guess they're, like, scared of the dark. So give them melon. They'll be fine. Or you can wait till day and they'll be fine, too. But check this out. This is a lot of fairies. They're everywhere in the plains and the forest, so this would be, like, the best time to come out and try to tame as many as you can. Because they are absolutely everywhere. So, yeah, look at this. This is crazy. This is, like, freaking the fairy biome now. It's insane. So, come out here, tame a bunch, and then you're going to be able to kill everything. As you guys can tell, this mod is absolutely insane at night. There is so many fairies. It's unbelievable. Seriously, they might want to tone it down a small amount. But anyways, now what we're going to be doing is setting up a post for a fairy. And basically what they can do is stay in a certain area and not follow you around. And kind of guard it. And if you want, you can make them do like any task. It's really cool. So what I want to do is get a brand new fairy. A brand new one. I'm going to name it. So I have a cookie. And I want like a simple name that I can easily write on a sign. So I think I know what I want. Jen. We'll name it Jen. I have a fairy named Jen. Perfect. Looks just like her. Can barely tell the difference. So what we want to do now is get a sign. And basically, you just write their name on it. And they're going to stay in that area within, like, six blocks, I think. So, I'll put this down. I'll write Jen. It could be anywhere on the side. It doesn't matter. I could write it, like, here or there. No difference. So, now Jen has to stay in this area. She can't follow me around anymore. So, if I go far away, she has to be within, like, six blocks of that side. And she actually is going to be working, sort of. She, like, breaks grass and tries to get seeds for you for, like, a garden. So, what I want to do is let me get some bone meal and try to break some grass. Look at that. She just punched it. Get some seeds. Come on. This is going to be awesome. And what I can do is put down a chest, and she should put them inside the chest if she gets any. All right. I'm waiting for it. Come on. What are you doing? Have some more grass. There's so much. You really got to start working. All right. Did you see that? She got the seed. Is it in there? Oh, my God. That is so cool. She even put the dandelion in there. So, yeah. She's kind of working, but you can actually put her on, like, normal tasks, too, and pretty much anything in Minecraft. And one other, like, really simple thing you could do is add this after her name. So, put that little symbol, I don't even know what it's called, and then an F. And she can actually roam in twice the amount of land. So, it's kind of cool. If you want her in, like, a bigger area, then it's going to be more helpful. And it's especially going to be useful when they're actually, like, fishing and chopping trees and stuff like that. Basically, what you can do if you want to, like, release them from an area is just break the sign. And they'll follow you around again. So, now I've got two different fairies. I've got Jen and also... I've got Jessica, and what we're going to do is make them work, and there's a lot of really cool stuff. This is, like, my favorite part in the mod. So, basically, you set them to an area just like that, 
and then you put some stuff in a chest and based on what's in there they're gonna do a bunch of different stuff so basically with a hoe they're gonna till the ground and make a garden some seeds they're gonna plant those sugar cane they're gonna plant it and actually even chop down a tree i put a tree right there it's gonna be perfect what are you doing to me right now i'm gonna back up a second also a sapling they'll plant that wheat they'll breed animals so like these sheep they may breed them sometimes they take a long time to actually complete these tasks so i got two fairies instead i thought it might work a little bit better and also, if I put in shears, they're going to shear the sheep. A fishing rod, go fishing. That is so sick. Food, they'll eat it if they take any damage. And bone meal, they'll use it to, like, grow their garden and stuff like that. So what I want to do is set both of them to this area. I've got Jessica and Jen. So I'm going to put down both their names. I'll put down Jen. We'll do a little squiggly thing there in an F. And then I'll set Jessica on the same sign. So basically, they both should be assigned to this area. So we'll go with it once again. And I think that is perfect. So now I'm going to put something in this chest. I'm going to put down a hoe. Look at this, guys. They're going to start gardening. Oh, my God. You guys are horrible at gardening. Seriously, that is the most unorganized garden I've ever seen. You know, at least they're trying. They're trying. Maybe I should have given them two hoes. I can't believe that. That looks awful. I'm going to put in some seeds so they can actually put those down. All right. So, yeah, they're, they're gardening. It's not the prettiest one I've ever seen. But, I mean, it's a garden. It's working. They're doing it. Jen is just kind of flying around right now. All right, I've got an idea. So what I want to do is put in some other stuff in here. Maybe an axe and they'll chop down that tree. Maybe Jen will chop it down. They should be assigned to the area. So basically, like, anything that's a little bit further away, they should grab this too. All right, come on. Come on, guys. Girls, whatever. Get over here and chop down that tree. Jen is gardening now. She has replaced her. I have no idea why, but Jen started taking over the gardening. And what I can do, I guess, since they're not chopping the tree... Yeah, they keep, like, switching back and forth. I'm going to plant a couple more trees and see if they'll chop down one of those. So let me get the bone meal here. And I'm going to plant some, like, right next to them. Maybe this will give us a better chance at this. All right, let's go for it. Another tree. Please chop it down. Somebody. Somebody chop down the trees. Like I said, it doesn't have been instant. Oh, she did it. She did it. Jen chopped it down as she was gardening. So what happened? Did any wood end out in here? She missed one. They have to, like, walk over it to actually grab it. And they'll put it back in the chest like that. The garden is looking beautiful at the moment, guys. So I figured, why not add some sugar cane? I'll put it in here. I think the other tree just got chopped down. So please, somebody, put down the sugar cane. You know what? If I take away the other stuff, they might actually do it. They're using, like, all the durability. I'm taking it away. The only thing left is the sugar cane. Someone has to put it down. This is going to happen eventually. Let's see. What else can we do here? So I put down shears. That might be really cool. So let me try this. I'll put down shears and see if anyone wants to actually try to shear the sheep. I'll let him go if I must. I want someone to shear it. I think Jen is drowning right now. Oh my god, guys. Did you see that? She just put one down. They finally are using the sugar cane. So yeah, this is like the hardest mod I've ever showcased because it's impossible to get them to do the task. And wow. Oh my god. They are, they are cooperating. They have just sheared the sheep. That is so sick. That is awesome. Okay, so they've done that. As you can see, they used, like, the durability on this. And they actually planted the sugar cane. But this must be the worst-looking garden I've ever seen in my entire life. Seriously, it looks awful. All right, so let's see. What else can we get them to do here? I did want to point out there definitely is a bug in the mod at the moment. Whenever they try to breed the animals, it actually crashes Minecraft. So we can't test that one at the moment. But they'll probably fix it really soon. And what I did with Jen is I brought her down to really low on health. And we can feed her pretty much anything that tames these. So I'm going to hold down shift right clicker and her health is back up. So once again, I'm sorry about this. I have to throw a poison potion at you. I'm sorry. So what we want to do is put some food in here and see if she could actually eat it herself and try to like bring her health back up. So I'm going to put this as the only thing in the chest. 64 delicious cookies. And I guess I'm going to like follow her around and see if she actually eats it. It hopefully is going to happen really soon. All right, there we go. She did it right away. She's back to full health, and the cookie should be missing. So, yeah, she ate one of those. All right, guys, I've got a foolproof plan to make them use bone meal. So, I took everything out of the chest. I'm going to give them saplings, seeds, two hoes, and, like, two stacks of bone meal. It's got to work. So, hopefully, they will do something. They're just flying around, aren't they? Come on, Jessica. Okay, she put that down. Use bone meal. Okay, bone meal on something. I'll be so happy. It just looks like she's making a garden. Come on. Come on, please. I gave you so much. You could do something with it. What are you doing to the sheep? 
All right, guys, Jen is beasting it right now. It looks like she is finally using the bone meal. Look at that. She actually grabbed it, and now she's putting it back in the chest. Let's check this out. So the wheat she actually just knocked off is right in here now. That is so sick. And guys, by the way, you can actually take like any kind of seeds and grow them too. And you can see like right there, I got like a melon plant growing. And the last thing to show is definitely the fishing. So I'm going to put in two fishing rods. Hopefully like one of them will decide to go fishing. Please go fishing, Jessica. I'll break that. You're now near the water. Go fish. Don't do that. Don't plant saplings. It's not time for that. I'm removing these. One of you must fish. Oh my god, guys. Check this out. Jessica is actually fishing in the water right now. She's sitting down and she has the fishing rod in her hand. That is so cool looking. So I guess over time, she's actually going to catch fish and I imagine put them back in this chest. Can't believe that. She's literally sitting down and fishing. I thought it'd be like an automatic thing where like a fish would automatically go in here. So let's see if she catches anything for us. It looks like she actually caught one, guys. I didn't actually see it come, but it must have went like instantly into the chest as she caught it. And you can see she used durability on the fishing rod. So obviously, you know, they can fish. It's pretty cool. But the thing about this mod is they take their time to complete these tasks and are some of the worst gardeners I've ever seen in my entire life. It looks ridiculous. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. You can tame fairies. They can fight for you and complete all kinds of crazy tasks. If you want to check out this mod, the download, as always, in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button. It means so much to me. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.